Welcome to the MCTV Investigation Series, where we bring related mysteries out in the open, answer the questions everyone is curious about, everything presented is completely factual, all interviews are unedited and real. Our first subject, Chain Letters. Our first case study, an anxious, yet very quiet, Shane Haddix, casually checking his email, never expecting what would come next. Send this to ten people and you will meet your true love at midnight. Failure to do so and you will not meet your true love and will be doomed to unfulfilled relationships for the rest of your life. Well, I'm not chancing that. Hello? Hey, this is Mandy. Mandy... Yeah, sorry to be calling so late, but someone just kind of urged me to call you. Wow. Really? Yeah. Hey, do you want to hang out sometime? Sure. I would love to. Are they real? I don't really know the answer to that. But what I can tell you is that I've been happily married for 20 years. That story was the tip of the iceberg for MCIO. We received that letter August 5th, 1993, which sparked our interest about chain letters. Our discoveries proved astonishing yet terrifying. We went public and requested other true stories from all around the world. Before we knew it, we had over 30 cases of paranormal scenarios. Our first task, history. So we set out to find the oldest person alive that encountered chain letters. I remember when I received my first chain letter. I was eight, and it was my first letter ever through the mailbox. Told me to send it to three people in 30 days and I would become a hero. If I failed to comply, a disaster would strike my closest relatives. So I did it. About three months later, I was drafted into the Great War. I was positioned in infantry. I won the war, and I single-handedly defeated the enemy. The government wouldn't accept that, so I was given a Medal of Platinum Hero. However, I was sworn to secrecy. That's why you can't see my face or hear my real voice. As technology became more advanced and new forms of communication became available, the chain letter tradition was revived in the late 1930s, making a debut appearance on television. However, not everyone could send messages through their television, and soon after came World War II. Coincidence? After that, chain letters died again, until the internet. They popped up in emails constantly as time went on. It gained more and more momentum. It became common practice and remains so today. Anyone can do it. So our next question is, how? But listen real close, because I'm not supposed to tell anyone, because this is passed on me by my master, that uh, you know chain letters have special powers. And. Uh, you know, anyone can write a, you know, a, you know, an old petty chain letter that, you know, if you don't send this, whatever, you'll get, you'll stub your toe or something like that. But it takes a real master to make a chain letter that can go on and on. You know, it takes years of practice for you to make a chain letter that can, you know, make you rich, or famous, or it can kill you. We began to wonder, what is the most radical case we have? This scenario was found quickly, and we contacted the victim as soon as we could. It made no sense to me. There's not a day that goes by that I don't blame myself for what happened.
Rewrite and send this to five people by the end of your school day, and you will become a very wealthy and healthy man. Failing to do so will result in a painful death. Jesus, that's a pretty hefty threat. Do you actually believe in that? I don't know. I've always known what they said, just in case, you know. It's not real. I get them all the time, and I just ignore them. Besides, you don't want to rewrite that five times. Yeah, I guess you're right. I killed him. Everyone says it's not my fault, but I told him to. Me, I told him to kill himself. I wish I could just take it all back and receive the letter. I would switch with places any day. All this evidence right in front of you, the true stories, the art of chain letters. I pray you will take this knowledge and use it wisely. Chain letters aren't to be taken lightly. For now, this has been Madison Central Investigation Series. Stay tuned to see our next exciting episode.